up in the Arctic Circle under the Siberian tundra lie almost 90% of Russia's natural gas deposits, a quarter of the world's reserves. The Russian gas monopoly Gazprom owns the Yubelenoye gas production facility at the base of the Yamal Peninsula. Oleg Balayev and his colleagues work here in temperatures as low as minus 40 degrees Celsius. To our right here is a pump station where the gas is pumped to the surface. Over there on the left is another. At the moment our equipment is operating flat out. We extract about 60 million cubic meters of gas a day. The gas is trapped deep in the ground, which is frozen to a depth of almost a kilometer and a half here. Even in summer, only the surface thaws. But the ground is now beginning to thaw faster and deeper than before, making it soft and unstable. The Gazprom engineers have noted that the climate in the Arctic Circle is changing. The annual average temperature has risen by 3.5 degrees Celsius. We've noticed the change after years of observation. This is the region in late summer. The environmental organization Greenpeace is traveling around, documenting the consequences of global warming. This is the best time of year to study the changes in the ground. The journey continues northward, where more gas fields soon will be tapped. The activists come across a group of Nenets, an indigenous people. They are nomads who cover great distances with their reindeer. They spend the summer on the Yamal Peninsula. When the Ob River freezes over, they cross to the mainland. But the Ob now freezes later in the year. We used to drive our reindeer from the peninsula to the mainland as early as November. But for the past few years, we've been doing it in December because the winters are warmer now. The Nenets lead the environmentalists to a place that until recently was a lake. Now the lake has disappeared. Ice melting underground left an empty space behind into which the lake water drained. The water has completely disappeared from many of the lakes, so of course the fish are gone too. The lakes on Yamal Peninsula were always teeming with fish, but now many lakes have gone dry, so there are no fish. And we need the fish to feed ourselves. Geologist Fyodor Romanenko is observing the changes. If enough ice melts, then methane, a greenhouse gas much more potent than carbon dioxide, will be released, accelerating the pace of global warming. If these processes persist for a long time, long in the geological sense, then the rise in temperature will have consequences for the entire system. The permafrost will continue to recede, and ever larger, ever deeper layers of the ground will thaw. Some Russian scientists say the changes are temporary natural variations. But if the permafrost thaws, extracting gas will be more difficult. Soft, unstable ground is hardly the ideal foundation for pipelines or production facilities. At the Jubilenoye gas field, Gazprom has started using cooling equipment to stabilize the ground. We have cooling machines that can freeze the ground within two months. That will keep it solid and stable. It will be frozen even in the summer. The Gazprom engineers don't see a problem. They say they would prefer warmer winters. But environmentalists and many researchers warn that thawing permafrost in the Arctic Circle could step up the pace of climate change throughout the world.